Hey Kipsters, we're at it again. We are today looking at line graphs. We are figuring out what a line graph is. Well, remember from the last video, anything with graph means to draw. So we know that a line graph has to be some sort of drawing. A line graph, you've seen many of them before. It's the lines with the points on, on, on the graph. And the definition of line graph is a graph that shows change over time. So literally, a line graph shows change over time, okay? Let's take a look at a line graph and let's figure out the parts so we can interpret it and learn how to read it very clearly. We have a line graph that's already been drawn for us. This just happens to be a line graph showing students receiving stars. At the very top, you will see the title on a line graph. Um, on the x-axis on a line graph, it's going to show you the measurement of time. Time will always go from left to right, uh, just, like you, just as you see a timeline, uh, so time is going to go from left to right. And as you can see here on the bottom, I'm giving you a measurement of time. In this case, I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Therefore, those, are, those, those units of time are days. Okay? I could also have months. I could have January, February, March, April, May. I could have years, 1992, 1993, 1994, and so on and so forth. Um, so it all depends on what you're trying to show. As I said, the x-axis is showing you what? Time, okay? And time goes from left to right. And that's how we read line graphs, from left to right. Now the y-axis, as I said before, why? You ever asked your question, why? Well, the y-axis is going to be vertical. And it's going to do two things, just as it did in the bar graph. The first is it's going to show you the amounts. Okay, on the y-axis, you're going to see the amounts. And then you're also going to be able to determine the scale from zero to the first line. It's the distance from zero to the first line. and tells you what each line is worth. And then it also can tell you what the midpoint between each line is worth. If you really want to get technical and advanced, sometimes our scale doesn't always isn't always perfect, isn't always going to be exactly uh, right in between the middle of, of, of lines, and it's not going to be on the line. Sometimes it's going to be in places that's not directly in the middle, and therefore you have to use your reasoning skills and split it into equal parts and figure out where it's closest to, okay? But for now, we know that the x-axis is going to show us time, and we know that the y-axis is going to give us two pieces of information, the amount and it's also going to give us scale. So as I can see here, I am looking at the amount, and the amount in this case, of stars. So on the y-axis, I can also determine scale. From 0 to the first line, which is 4, what's the distance between 0 and 4? Four? 4, okay? So therefore, every line after that should be 4 more than the line that's been drawn. Is this 4 more than 4, which is 8? Yes. This line should be 4 more than 8, which is 12. 16? 20, 24, and I keep on going on for eternity. However, I would like to stop so that I can get some information down. Remember we talked about a point occurring right in the middle of two lines? Well, to find that, go from 0 to the first line, and that distance is 4. So to find the space that's directly right in the middle of both, of both lines, I'm going to divide the distance from 0 to the first line, which is 4, by 2. And that will give me 4 divided by 2 is 2. So therefore, if a point were right here, I am going to be at 2 more than the bottom line, which is 0, which is 2. 2 more than 4, which is 6. 2 more than 8, which is 10. 2 more than 12, which is 14. 2 more than 16, which is 18. And so on and so forth. Okay. So I can now see what my points are. Now, when we look at a line graph, we want to know what the points are. We want to know what the values of each point each points are. However, the point of a line graph is to determine change over time. So when we talk about on the point, if I ask you uh, how many students receive stars on Monday, then I'm going to get 12 students because it's, it's on the line of 12 and it's right on the point. So that's 12 students. If I ask you to label the information, you could do that. Okay, That's 12 students. How many students uh, receive stars on Tuesday? Well, that occurs right in between 4 and 8, and it's right in the middle of it, so it'll be 2 more than 4, which is 6. 
How many students received stars on Wednesday? It's right on the line. It's the point, 16. How many students received stars on Thursday? I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. 24. And the last one, how many students received stars on Friday? So it's right in between 20 and 24. And we know that it's going to be two more than the bottom line, which is 22. Okay, so we've now labeled what the actual points are. So if I ask you on which day, on Monday, how many stars were received, you'd say 12, because I'm talking about on the point, on the point. If I'm talking uh, about between which two days, then I'm not focused on the points, I'm focused between the points, okay? Between the points. And that's literally what we're looking at when we're talking about increases or decreases. An increase is when the line goes up from left to right. A decrease is when the line goes down from left to right. Once again, an increase is when the line goes up from left to right. So we always read line graphs from left to right. And a decrease is when the line goes down from left to right. Now if the line just stays the same and shows no change, then there's no increase or decrease because the difference between the two is nothing. Okay. So if a line goes down, it's going to be a decrease from left to right. And if a line goes up, it's going to be an increase. So is the line going down from Monday to Tuesday? Yes. So it's going to be a decrease. And we're going to put a minus because it's going down. Um, and then we want to find the difference between 12 and 6. We want to find the difference between Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday. 12, the difference between 12 and 6 is 6. So this is a decrease of 6. I want to find uh, what's happening between Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay? And it's going up from left to right, so that's an increase. So I'll write a plus sign. And what's the difference between 6 and 16? 10. So it's an increase of 10, and give me meaning to it now, 10 stars. Next, I'm going from 16 to 24. That is an increase. And how much of a difference is it? Well, 24 minus 16 is 8. It's an increase of 8. And then 24 uh, to 22 going from left to right Thursday to Friday is a decrease, so that's going to be sub to subtracting. And a decrease of, what's the difference between 24 and 22? 2. Okay, so now I, I know exactly what's happening. Kipsters, if you've ever been asked, between which two days did you see the greatest increase? How many of you have always been tempted to pick the two highest points on a line graph? I know some. Well, when we're focused on between which two days, we're not focused on the points, not the two highest points. We're focused on between which two days was the greatest increase. So between which two days is focused on this part right here, in between the points, in between the points, in between the points, and in between the points. So the only parts in which we have increases are between Monday and Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday and Wednesday, and between Wednesday and Thursday. Which one of these is the greater increase? Well, it's 10. So therefore, between which two days was the greatest increase? It was Tuesday and Wednesday. Between Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, Kipsters, if you have any further questions, you can come and see me. But for now, I think that's a great introduction to line graphs. Once again, line graphs compare I mean, show change over time. They're graphs that show change over time. Okay? Enjoy.